Capricorn friends, welcome. <clears throat> Doing your heart spread here. This is for mid-September time frame, okay? This reads uh, whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your heart. Uh, assuming you have someone on your mind, someone in your heart. If you don't, see the new singles reading that's out today for the weekend of the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, to collective singles read for whoever resonates. Uh, tries to describe the person that's going to be coming into your life. Um, also, on Fridays, too, it's always Sagittarius Capricorn Day, keep in mind. Um, I pre shuffle let's put a little energy on them here. Uh, it's the first uh, weekend here coming up as I'm doing the reading in September. Trying to get ahead of things, doing the mid-September reading. Tarot's supposed to be predictive, after all. And like, I really hate tarot readings where they just simply tell you your status. <laughs> it's like, I already know what I'm doing and what I think and feel. <laughs> you know? So we try to get a little bit ahead of things here. But this is really going to be talking about the person that's on your mind and um, the person that's in your heart. And it doesn't have to be the person you're with. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> Heart's funny. You know, love is difficult. Uh, hopefully it is. I tend, to, I tend to read for new relationships, new people. So let's see how this goes. This could be a singles read too. Just look at the number two position, which is the seventh house in your mirror, uh, posing your number one position in this re eight card read. Um, and that'll be the person that's coming in for you in the future, okay? You can kind of intuit it from there. Capricorn, Ace of Swords. This is your energy in and around relationships where your mind and heart is at right now. With the Ace of Swords, that's a nice energy to come into a relationship with. Um, it can be a little triggery energy too, though. Um, definitely, you're going to be someone that's going to speak up in a relationship. Um, you might be the first one to say, I love you. You could be the first one to say, uh, set boundaries too in relationship. Um, it's kind of like uh, with the Ace of Swords, I see it's kind of taking action in a relationship, uh, initiating the relationship. This kind of thing. Um, the only thing I watch with it doesn't have to be that way. I'm kind of I don't have a feel yet. Just looking at it by itself, S see how we go with your other cards. Uh, but it can be a little triggery, a little punchy, um, coming in uh, with your person here. But uh, and you would have this energy relating to any person. Now your person's riding high. This is their energy in and around relationships right now. And I try to separate this a little bit from how you guys are reacting to each other. That's shown in the two and three positions coming up. Um, but this person's had a triumph, and they're riding really high. So I hope with this Ace of Swords, this is not you trying to, I uh, just had the Sag read, I use this phrase, I'll punch a hole in them. Um, because uh, this could imply that they're a fire sign, you know, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sag. Um, but um, I don't know yet. Uh, but they're having that fire energy, so they'd be someone that's feeling really good about themselves, probably feeling pretty confident. It kind of implies to me, too, that they might be a younger person. Um, they might be an athlete, this person. I could feel like they probably got a really good body. Um, I'm not necessarily associated ego with it. Uh, I do associate, like, confidence with it. Um, they might be really sexy to you. Uh, this might be why you were the one to make the first move. I mean, this could be simply be like, you know, uh, they're the barista at Starbucks, and you're like, I know you're probably going to hit up a million times a day, but I really want to take you out and get to know you better. <laughs> this type of energy, you know. Wow. Now, this is uh, how you're reacting to them. This kind of explains the Ace of Swords. I was getting this feeling of it, um, that you're, you're not reacting well to them. You're being defensive. But look, they bring the tower down for you. There's no other way to look at that. Once you start interacting with them, I mean, that could be as simply the barista says, uh, uh, I'm gay, or, or I wouldn't, are you kidding me? Uh, I wouldn't date you if you were the last person on earth. Um, it's difficult energy here. And look at this, how they're reacting to you. Man, both of these readings are not good today. It, I can't see this going anywhere good. How they're reacting to you is they're moving away. Yeah, they're moving away. So I think both of you are kind of being punchy with each other. Um, it, their end of it, it could be a sort of arrogance, that kind of feeling, or they're, maybe they feel like they're too good for you. Um, and maybe with this Ace of Swords, you might have kind of opened up. Like, uh, this could be like oversharing. 
uh, moving too fast, that kind of thing. And maybe they reacted to it badly, Capricorn. Um, and basically, it said it was like a big no. And if it brought the tower down for you, you really had some. For, for an ace of swords, you had a lot of hope for this. You, you really were into them. Um, you maybe had it built up in your minds, mental swords, that this was going to work out, that they were going to be into you. They probably were very sexy and desirable to you, maybe younger than you. And it hits you pretty hard. Now let's get some advice. Now what I'm looking for here is advice. This is advice for you in terms of them in the relationship and advice for them in terms of you in the relationship here. And, um, but now uh, this looks to me like the relationship's not working out. So we're trying to get advice on this relationship for you. Capricorn, um, the star card. So advice from spirit is to have hope. There's no other way to read that. It's Aquarius energy too. You could look at Aquarius in your chart. Uh, what's going on there? Um, you've got a lot going on there with Saturn and uh, Jupiter there right now. Both in retrograde. Um, a bit working at cross purposes. I really like to look at those two as an astrologer. I, I don't like transit to transit astrology. I want to see how the transits hit the natal chart. It really has the punch for me. I'm, I look at things personally. Um, but it could be speaking to something going on there. And let's see what their advice is. The seven of wands. Well, I mean, advice for them is to just put up the balance, put up the barriers for you. Um, um, they're really closed down to you here, right? Which I kind of already figured. And so the advice from spirit, I mean, it's a little corny, but it's like, it's gonna be all right. I think what this is, because this, this is very profound here, the star, this is advice from spirit, this is not me. What, what spirit's trying to tell you, Capricorn, if you're a spiritual person, you very well may be if you're watching this channel, check out the Soul Family read I do uh, daily. It's a collective read, forever resonates. If you haven't already, see if you wanna be a part of that. I would love it if you were. Uh, my second wife for 25 years, Capricorn, is most, one of the most uh, stable, honorable, strong, uh, decent uh, human beings I've ever met in my entire life. Um, so what they're saying here, uh, rejection is spirit's protection. I know it's cliche, but that's what I'm really getting here. Look, this is almost like saying it. Rejection is spirit's protection, and not just protection. This is a little bit about having faith. It could be hard for Capricorns. I'm a Sag, that's our thing. But this is like have faith that the reason this happened, the reason it's coming under the tower. And look, look here now. <laughs> the star card uh, follows the tower, okay? So uh, the reason that this came down is because this is not your person and spirit is clear in the runway. Spirit is clearing the plate for your person to come in. So I'm just gonna ask now, I'm gonna reshuffle uh, spirit, and this is the advice for the relationship, and now it's becoming advice for you, spirit. And do also today, for the first time, I'm rolling out a new singles read. It's a collective read for whoever resonates. Uh, maybe check that out, Cap, because um, maybe that's relevant. It's a very clear read about who the person is that's coming in for you. I, I remember that, that, I did it yesterday and put it up um, but I remember uh, what it was, uh, Libra, Sun, Sag, Moon, Venus, and Virgo, uh, uh, Mars and Virgo, and Venus, uh, Scorpio. Let's see what we get here. So we're asking Spirit in the name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good. Give us some advice now. We get it now. Uh, rejection is God's protection, and um, this Capricorn um, is being guided here two of cups yeah your two of cups is coming I just this is an intuitive I just got really warm all across here it's really strong feeling you you might know this person already um, or this person could be associated with this other person who 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 rejected you I got the feeling um, and you're gonna have and look two of cups this is what I'm saying it's like you tried to give your cup to them, but your cup's going to go to someone else. I think it's someone associated with them somehow. 
um, or somehow the fact that you were involved with them leads you to become involved with this person, this right person for you. Wow, yes, and the Five of Cups. I think this is about letting go. The Five of Cups is all emotional, coming over the Two of Cups is uh, you're gonna have to grieve over this. This really hits you hard and Spirit's coming in trying to get, reassure you that it's gonna be all right. And they're even saying here, this is the advice from Spirit for relationship as a whole, that there, there is a cup there for you that's coming. I'll clarify this out with three cards, the Five of Cups. But uh, I think this is uh, you having to deal with this emotionally so that you can move on and accept your new person. I don't know, tell me, comment if you're watching this, you're kind of not buying it. You're like, you know, maybe you're really hung up over this person. Uh, you're just having a hard time seeing this as rejection is God's protection. I don't, I, it's not even God's protection. You're being, uh, because you have the star card here, and this is advice from spirit, you're being lined up for success. And uh, that's a lot of out of our hands, right? Um, this is exactly how it works, exactly, okay? Now let's get three cards to clarify. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. This makes sense to me. And by the way, this is what I call the Jim Morrison King of Cups. And it look like Jim Morrison. It's my favorite king in this deck. The Illuminated uh, Tarot deck, Ethereal Visions deck. Um, you know, he's so cool. I think this is, could be a Pisces person, definitely water sign, you know, Scorpio, Pisces person, um, cancer person, male or female, that doesn't matter. But what's going to happen, you're going to have to let go of this other person. And, you know, and I think with the Ace of Pentacles, and look, you come in with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles is a lot better than the Ace of Swords. It's, again, one of these most underrated uh, Pentacles in the deck. It's kind of a yin-yang, you see that? So very balanced, very sincere, very whole in yourself. So you're recovering from this loss. I don't think it's going to take that much because I don't know if that was that deep. And now this is realistically, if we got Mars opposite Neptune. I mean, today it's exact again, I believe, at 22 uh, degrees um, in the, you know, uh, Virgo Pisces axis. My first to seventh house. And hello. Um, so this is you taking a very hard nuts and bolts realistic assessment of where you're at and boy coming with the ace of pentacles it's about you it's about where you're at and i think what it's telling you is that you're in a pretty good place here capricorn these are capricorn energy the pentacles and so i think when you look i think too you could look back seven relationships and kind of see if that means anything back to you assuming you've had seven <laughs> seven venus and scorpio I could go back more, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess. I don't know. That's how we learn. Um, but I think this is you really assessing things and putting things into order and being very realistic. And I think when that is over, you end up being in a very good place. And now this is your person coming in. I told you there's another cup here, and this is your person. And they're very stable, and I think they're going to suit you a lot better. Um, and they're going to be like a sort of a yin-yang thing here again. Because I said, you know, you have that yin-yang energy with the Ace of Pentacles. So in other words, what's that? Somebody that's kind of the opposite. It's like at the first glance, you wouldn't think, um, you know, this person has all kind of depth too. I mean, emotional depth, emotional sincerity, mostly intelligent, emotionally available. Very different. You know, the Six of Wands kind of shallow energy. It's a jock, you know. Sorry, it's kind of how I see it. Okay, this is not shallow energy. This is deep, very deep energy, very sincere, very emotionally available. And um, someone's going to very much be there for you. And this is your other cup. The Spirit's advising you it's there. I still think it's associated somehow with this jockey person that, you know, uh, rejected you, guys. So I really like that. The overall outcome then is the King of Cups. And I think this is your person coming in, who you're going to be looking for definitely going to be a water sign not necessarily sun uh, sun moon rising and venus but with strong water uh, significant water placements in their chart and they will be an emotional person someone's emotionally available to you very very different from this one that rejected you capricorn
So thank you, Spirit. Uh, you, you didn't get the relationship you wanted. Uh, you're getting the relationship. Trust in the star. you got to trust in the star whenever you see this card. And this is advice from Spirit, okay? Um, so Spirit is, is assuring you that everything is going to be okay and that this happened for a reason so that it could realign you with this King of Cups, Jim Morrison. Who doesn't love Jim Morrison? <laughs> thank you, God.